Okay, you guys, so in the history of my YouTube channel, which I started in, I think, 2018 or 2019, yes, I have been on YouTube for that long, um, I have never done a two-part thrift haul. Um, but today, you're gonna get part one, and then next Friday, you'll get part two. So let's roll that intro and get right into this episode of Friday Thrift Finds. Hey guys, it's me Kay and you've arrived in my weird little corner of the internet. Welcome. If you're new here, I'm a part-time reseller, mostly on eBay and Poshmark, though I do also sell locally at an antique mall and on Mercari and Depop. And I got everything in this brown paper bag for $89. It works out to about $4.93 per item. And like I said in the intro, this is going to be a two-part haul. Um, so towards the end of 2022, I had quite a bit of unused PTO that I needed to either use or lose, and I'm not about to lose time that I've worked to accrue all year. Um, so needless to say, I had a lot of days where I could just do whatever my heart desired, if you will. Um, and this haul came from the last day of PTO, and my daughter was with her dad, so I had the whole day, and I went up to Boston by myself, this is only the second time I've ever thrifted in Boston. These are stores that my local friend, Daniela, she does have a YouTube channel, though I think she's taking some time off from that, um, but she is Ivy and Blush on Instagram. She shared these stores with me, um, so I don't share them with other people, but I went to two different stores, and so part one is going to be the first store that I went to, and part two next week will be the second store that I went to. Um, I'm doing this for two reasons. A, I'm not into filming longer hauls. You guys also seem to like the shorter hauls, so unless it's like a bins haul where I'm accumulating a lot of stuff at once, um, I'm trying to keep them, you know, 25 minutes or less, even better if it's shorter. And two, um, I have a very large death pile right now, and so it's like, January 13th and I've still only been thrifting once in the new year um, and I'm trying to get my death pile down before I go and get more stuff. So this is going to give me two episodes worth of content so here we go. This is what the inside of this bag looks like. I honestly can't even remember everything that I got even though it wasn't that long ago, a couple weeks. Um, this is Athleta. Um, these are, I don't know what style leggings, they don't have the name. They're from fall of 19, size small. Most of you guys know what the Athleta tag looks like. Um, I love selling activewear. I have sold a ton, being it's January and New Year's resolutioners. These are a fun leopard print. Uh, this store has um, pricing similar to Goodwill where everything in the same like category is the same price Though I can't recall what those prices are um, But I don't think it's too expensive. I mean I spent $69 and got all of these things for less than $5 um, These are carbon 38. I've only found this one other time before and it was actually at the same store though it still hasn't sold so this maybe wasn't the best pickup uh, these are a size small carbon 38 and these are like a shimmery green snakeskin legging 7 8 length i think um i haven't looked up the style photos or anything none of this stuff is listed because like i said i have a massive death pile this is another athleta this one's from fall 18 size small this is a seamless short sleeve. Um, it's got some little ruching down here on the sides. I have sold this before. I forget what it's called, but it's basically the Athleta version of the Lululemon Swiftly material. This was the last thing I found. They must have just put it out because I had already been over in that section. Um, prior to seeing this on my way to the register, this is Good American. Good American, when it's not jeans, doesn't do great for me, 
but the price on this was really good so i ended up getting it this is a size two which i think is a medium i think zero is their extra small and then it goes up from there for their vanity sizing it's just a white crop and it does have a decent size keyhole in the back again haven't looked up styles or anything this i grabbed because it was new with tags this is intimately free people the retail was only 48 dollars on this so i'm not expecting a whole lot and it's kind of hard to show or at least it was hard for me to figure out how it went in the store um this is another one that i found towards the end of my time this is a bodysuit it's got a really deep v it just has one teeny tiny thread that connects the two sides so hopefully you get some tape if you're gonna wear that um, otherwise you might have a wardrobe malfunction um this is varley this is their logo with the little v's i love selling varley pieces um, usually I can get close to retail for them. Um, it's not my favorite. Vuori is my favorite, but I just love selling barley. It usually moves quick. Um, this is a size small. It's in the waistband underneath, and this is like a perforated tank top. Black, nice basic. Again, the price was pretty good for their tanks. We got, I think these are the only pair of jeans. These are made well, and these are the 10 inch high rise skinny, 28 petite, um, but they're from fall of 2020, so that's why I grabbed them. Also, I think they were $8, so not too terrible. And the black denim does pretty well for me, um, even in the skinnies. I did grab one plush and it was 99 cents. Um, I originally thought this was like a piece of fruit or something, but I think when I looked it up, it's supposed to be a Fabergé egg as a plushie. I don't know, um, but it's from Jelly Cat. I've had a lot of success selling Jelly Cat. I've only found it a couple times, but it always moves really fast. Not expecting a whole lot, maybe 15, 18. Just a couple more clothing pieces and then we have some shoes to finish off. This is Weekend Max Mara, size large. Um, this is one of the diffusion lines, just Max Mara does better. There's also S Max Mara. Um, and this is a very nice basic, like a charcoal gray color, long sleeve. It's super soft. Um, let's see what it's made from. Viscose virgin wool elastane and then the last clothing piece is another madewell piece i already showed you guys the tag these are a size 24 and i don't know the style because it's not on here anywhere but these are from summer of 18 and these are a little high-rise distressed shorts um they're not like a super booty short which is why i picked them up they kind of look like more of a mom short um, and I love Madewell denim, so I almost always pick it up unless it's super old or the condition just isn't good. And then we just have four pairs of shoes, and that's everything for this haul. So this first pair is the first time I've ever found this brand, and I know this brand from one of my friends, Amanda, on Instagram. She's always posting her Poshmark sales, and she almost always has more than one pair of shoes from this brand that sells for a really great pr price. I will leave her Instagram handle on the screen for you so you can go give her a follow if you want. Um, but this is Gabor, I think it's how it's said. Gaber, I don't know. These are a size seven. She did let me know because I reached out to her when I found these that the sizing is the UK sizing. So I have to look up the US equivalent um, when I'm listing them. But these are just Kind of like a loafer square toe with this metal detail on them um, they look pretty comfortable they have decent treads on the bottom so i don't know what i can get for these um so we'll see next we have a pair of Allbirds. they had two pairs at this store but the other pair were in worse condition they're the same style but the, the other ones were gray and these are blue 
These are the Wool Lounger Men Size 10. Just a navy blue color. Um, and they do have a little bit of wear still even on these. Right here in the toe, it's just a little crinkled. That happens with a lot of the wool um, shoes from Allbirds. This is a pair of Hey Dudes. Second time I've ever found them. The first pair, again, still hasn't sold. Here is what it looks like on the inside. Um, I don't know the style of these. Oh, I think it's in the back. These are the Wally Free Light Gray US 12 Men's. The other pair that I picked up um, semi-recently had a small flaw, so I think that's part of the reason why they haven't moved. Um, but these look to be in really good condition. They've obviously been worn. They have some gunk on the bottom, but otherwise the fabric is in nice condition. And last but not least, we have a pair of Hoka One Ones. I love selling Hokas. These are the Clifton 6. It will say usually the style name right here on the shoe. And these are a size US 7. These are a women's, because um, they make the same styles in men's or women's, but it will usually tell you in the tongue um, which one it's for. And the bottoms, they've definitely been ran in, so I won't get um, as much of a premium for these as I usually do with my hokas that I sell, but there is definitely still some life in these and the price was decent. I think they were $6 or so, um, so I decided to pick them up anyway and hopefully I can get 30 to 35 at least for those, even though um, they're not in the greatest condition. All right, you guys, so that's it for this week's episode of my Friday Thrift Finds series. Thank you so, so much for watching and consistently tuning in to these videos every Friday. Um, it's nice to keep myself accountable, but I have to go and get some of these things listed. Um, so stay tuned for next week's haul. Um, I spent over $100 in that store. Again, same area, same day. Um, it's just easier for me to split it out. That way you guys don't have a super long video to watch. Um, but anyway, if you liked it at any point, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out here on YouTube to know what type of content you enjoy seeing from me. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you here in my weird little family on the internet and I hope to see you next time. Bye guys.